But according to Corey, beneath all the fame and fortune lies a sinister tale of two monster trucks. Corey Feldman claims an attempt was made on his life. He says, We just wanted to tell the truth, and we just wanted a bad monster to be exposed. And instead, somebody tried to kill me the other day. I was almost run over by giant monster, monster trucks. trucks. Two monster trucks. Two trucks. Two trucks. Monster trucks. These giant monster trucks. Monster uh -huh. trucks, which were completely parallel with each other, coming the same direction. They both were monster trucks. Two monster trucks. And for some reason, ironically, no taxi and no Uber would come, oh, which I found you. very, very oh. odd. OK, so that forced us to walk out into the street. Oh, my god. OK, and as we were crossing that street, two giant monster trucks, monster trucks with giant bars of lights on top of the monster trucks. I mean, and these things were huge, like the kinds you see like in the, the videos where they're like crashing over cars and oh, stuff. They were that big. Right. right. And these two trucks. How oh, many? Two trucks in a row? Coming side by side, parallel with each other as we're walking across the street. And when we left the sidewalk, they were still way far away. But we have eight of us in a group and we're all walking across. And as we get to the point where we're at the median, I look over and I'm like, we've still got room, we're still good. My wife and her girlfriends got to the other side of the sidewalk safely. By the time they turned around, we were stuck between the two last lanes. We see them, we're talking 80 miles an hour, and it's at that point where they should have slowed down, where instead they didn't slow down, they both at the same time hit their accelerator, speeding at me, barreling at our entire group. Me and my security, turn on a dime and look at these trucks coming directly at us. Two trucks. And at that moment, they definitely saw us. And we definitely saw them. Like, it's you know when you're at that point crossing a street and you look at the driver and the driver sees you and they know they need to yes. stop. But they instead of, like, them slamming on their brakes, they both accelerated at the same time. Both of them. We're talking 80 miles an hour. We were at the white line part in between the two lanes. So literally, I was caught between two trucks. Two trucks, two monster trucks speeding at me at like 80 miles an hour. And not just any trucks, but monster trucks, giant things with stuff sticking out on every side. And somehow it was like literally, and I'm not being like, you know, mystical here or anything, but like truthfully, truthfully, I felt something touch me, a finger hole and move my body. Really? They put their fingers in there in a way that is not human. They went like that because I was able to like <laughs> like, like the matrix you like, took my body and moved me and like literally got me out of harm's way and I don't know how it happened and I don't know how it happened literally my security puts his arm around my waist and somehow we in synchronicity move our bodies left right and left and then jump because I was able to like <laughs> Like, like the Matrix. Like the Matrix. Like the Matrix. And I don't know how it happened. So it was like, in the moment, I was in the zone. I dodged the trucks, and then I jumped, okay? Like, train dodge, dig it. Like, train dodge, dig it. You know, from Stand By Me. Right. Except right. this was much more real. This was much more real. <laughs> this is no joke. Who's the they? Who's the they, Corey? When you said they knew we were sitting there for an hour. Well, Who's meaning, the, meaning the people at the hotel or whoever they might have been talking to. So meaning like okay. people knew where we uh, were. Yeah. It wasn't like, Got you it. know, we're just randomly crossing a street and just randomly two cars drove by. It was like, we're in the middle of nowhere. There's no traffic, there's nobody around and we're sitting in this lobby for an hour. So it would have been very easy for somebody to call somebody else and go, hey, what? I've got Corey Feldman and his crew sitting right here. What do you want us to do about it? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it, you can put the pieces it. together and it would have been easy to do. But you could still say maybe it was a coincidence. Maybe not. Maybe that they weren't out to get me. Maybe it was just two random trucks that wanted to kill a group of people for no reason. Okay, we can go with that. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Always lying to me. Why? You lying so much. Why? You making it hard. You can put the it. pieces together. I put the it. pieces together. 
soon after the NBC interview went to air, Corey claims an attempt was made on his life. But that's not the way it happened. Get Put the it. pieces together. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere. We want to go and eat hibachi. I tried calling the Uber. The Uber was not coming, not coming at all. No taxi and no Uber would come. Forced us to walk across the street from the hotel and go to this hibachi restaurant. And we're crossing the street and literally the light turns green. And that's when all the trouble started. And there's two trucks coming out of the side of our vision there. We definitely saw them. We're kind of like, Fuck yes. we're crossing the street. Corey Feldman walking across the street. Assuming they're going to slow down, right? Wrong. Assumption is the mother of all fuck ups. We're crossing the street. Oh, da -da 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 like this. Oh, da -da 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 -da. What the fuck is it with you? Whoa. Literally. That's it. <laughs> This was much more real. <laughs> Fucking moron. When you're trucking through that intersection and 